Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today, we'll talk about the investigator's site file in clinical research. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Clinical research is a vital part of advancing medical knowledge and improving patient care. It involves rigorous scientific investigation to evaluate the safety and efficacy of new treatments and interventions. To ensure the integrity and compliance of clinical trials, investigators and study sites are required to maintain a comprehensive set of documents known as the investigator site file. In this video, we will delve into the importance of the investigator site file its components, and the role it plays in the successful conduct of clinical research. The investigator site file is a collection of essential documents that serve as a record of the conduct of a clinical trial at a specific research site. It serves as a centralized repository for all the necessary documentation required to demonstrate compliance with regulatory requirements, guidelines, and study-specific protocols. The investigator site file is a crucial tool for ensuring the accuracy, integrity, and traceability of clinical trial data. What is the purpose and importance of the investigator site file? The primary purpose of the investigator site file is to provide a comprehensive and organized record of all aspects of the clinical trial conducted at the site. It serves as a reference for study personnel, sponsors, monitors, auditors, and regulatory authorities. The investigator's site file demonstrates the site's adherence to ethical principles, protocol compliance, and regulatory requirements. It also aids in ensuring patient safety, data integrity, and the timely completion of the study. Maintaining an accurate and up-to-date investigator's site file is of paramount importance. It serves as evidence of the site's compliance with good clinical practice guidelines and regulatory requirements. It also facilitates efficient and effective study oversight, monitoring, and auditing. Failure to maintain a complete and well-organized investigator site file can lead to delays, non-compliance findings, and even the exclusion of a study site. Let us have a look at the components of the investigator site file. The investigator site file consists of various sections and documents that provide a comprehensive overview of the clinical trial. While the specific order and contents may vary depending on the study, the following are some common components typically found in an investigator site file. 1. Contact information. This section includes the contact details of key personnel involved in the study, such as the clinical study associates, medical monitors, safety managers, and drug safety surveillance associates. It provides a point of reference for communication and collaboration throughout the trial. 2. Site Contacts The site contact list contains the names and contact information of individuals responsible for specific roles within the research site. This may include coordinators, investigators, pharmacists, regulatory contacts, and study nurses. It ensures clear lines of communication and accountability within the site. 3. Contracts and Insurance This section includes the study contract and any relevant insurance documentation. While the contract itself is not typically included in the investigator site file to maintain confidentiality, a note to file indicating the location of the contract is included. This ensures that the necessary contractual agreements are in place and accessible if required. 4. Protocol and Amendments The protocol and its amendments form the backbone of the clinical trial. This section includes all versions of the protocol, along with the protocol signature pages. It provides a clear understanding of the study objectives, design, procedures, and subject eligibility criteria. 5. Investigator Brochure The investigator brochure contains comprehensive information about the investigational product, including its pharmacology, toxicology, and previous clinical trial data. 
It serves as a valuable resource for investigators and study personnel to understand the characteristics and potential risks associated with the investigational product. 6. Institutional Review Board Approved Consent Documents This section includes all versions of the informed consent forms approved by the Institutional Review Board or Ethics Committee. Informed consent is a crucial ethical requirement for ensuring that study participants are fully informed about the study, its potential risks, benefits, and alternatives before providing their voluntary consent to participate. 7. Institutional Review Board Approvals and Correspondence This section contains the initial Institutional Review Board submission, approval letters, correspondence, and any other relevant documentation related to Institutional Review Board or Ethics Committee review. It demonstrates the site's adherence to ethical principles and regulatory requirements throughout the study. 8. Investigator Qualification Documents This section includes the CV, medical licenses, and other relevant qualifications of the principal investigator, sub-investigators, and study staff. It ensures that the research team possesses the necessary expertise and qualifications to conduct the study. Let us go on with some more sections. 9. Financial Disclosure Forms Financial disclosure forms document any financial interests or relationships that investigators and study staff may have that could potentially influence the study's integrity or objectivity. This section helps ensure transparency and compliance with conflict of interest regulations. 10. Lab Documentation Lab documentation includes information related to central or local laboratory procedures, certifications, normal reference ranges, and any specific instructions for lab sample collection, processing, or shipping. It ensures accuracy, consistency, and traceability of laboratory data throughout the study. 11. Pharmacy Documentation This section contains the Pharmacy Manual, which outlines the procedures for handling, dispensing, and storing the investigational product. It also includes documentation related to dose calculations, temperature monitoring, investigational product accountability, and any specific instructions for study drug management. 12. Interactive Response Technology System Documentation If an interactive response technology system is utilized in the study, this section includes the Interactive Response Technology Manual, user logs, and any relevant forms or guidelines. The Interactive Response Technology System facilitates randomization, drug accountability, and subject management, ensuring the accurate and efficient conduct of the study. 13. Training Documentation Training Documentation includes records of good clinical practice training for study personnel along with any additional study-specific training. It ensures that all individuals involved in the study have received the necessary education and are knowledgeable about their roles and responsibilities. 14. Delegation of Authorities Log The Delegation of Authorities Log outlines the responsibilities delegated by the principal investigator to other study personnel. It includes the names of individuals, their assigned tasks, and the date of delegation. This log ensures clear lines of responsibility and accountability within the research site. 15. Monitoring and Oversight Documentation This section includes monitoring visit logs, confirmation letters, and follow-up correspondence related to site monitoring visits. It serves as a record of the monitoring activities conducted to ensure protocol compliance, data integrity, and participant safety. 16. Serious Adverse Events Documentation The Serious Adverse Events Documentation includes Serious Adverse Event Forms, Templates, Logs, and Reports. It captures any unexpected and serious adverse events that occur during the study and demonstrates appropriate reporting and management of participant safety. 17. Miscellaneous Documentation Any additional documentation that does not fit neatly into the other sections of the investigator's site file is categorized under the Miscellaneous section. 
This may include calibration logs, random study-specific forms, or other relevant documents. Let us now have a look at the Electronic Investigator site files. In recent years, there has been a shift towards Electronic Investigator site files to enhance document management, accessibility, and efficiency. An Electronic Investigator site files allows for centralized document storage, real-time updates, and improved collaboration among study personnel. It reduces the administrative burden associated with maintaining paper-based files and ensures the security and confidentiality of study data. Electronic investigator site files offer several advantages over traditional paper-based systems. They facilitate efficient document storage, retrieval, and sharing, eliminating the need for physical storage space and reducing the risk of misplacement or loss of important documents. Electronic investigator site files also enable remote access, allowing study personnel to access and review documents from anywhere, enhancing study oversight and collaboration. Furthermore, electronic investigator site files enhance data integrity by providing an audit trail of document revisions, ensuring version control and facilitating electronic signatures. They offer advanced search capabilities, making it easier to locate specific documents or information within the file. Electronic investigator site files also streamline study monitoring and auditing processes, allowing monitors and auditors to remotely review and verify study documentation. The transition from paper-based to electronic investigator site files requires careful planning, training, and standardization. It is essential to select a reliable electronic document management system that complies with regulatory requirements and provides robust security measures. Adequate training should be provided to study personnel to ensure proper utilization and compliance with electronic document management processes. In conclusion, the investigator site file is a vital component of clinical research documentation. It serves as a centralized repository of essential documents, ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements, protocol adherence, and data integrity. Maintaining a complete, accurate, and well-organized investigator site file is crucial for the successful conduct of clinical trials. With the advent of electronic investigator site files, study sites can streamline document management enhance accessibility, and improve collaboration among study personnel. The transition to electronic investigator site files offers numerous benefits, including improved data integrity, remote access, and efficient study oversight. By prioritizing the maintenance of a comprehensive investigator site file, study sites can ensure compliance with regulatory requirements, enhance participant safety, and contribute to the generation of high-quality clinical trial data. Effective documentation and record-keeping are essential for the advancement of medical knowledge and the improvement of patient care through evidence-based interventions. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.